So what, so what is, is this relatively new phenomenon that has altered the lives of many South Africans all about? What, what exactly is load shedding? To give, to give the sophisticated Google, Google definition, it is the action to reduce the load on something, especially the interruption of an electricity supply, to avoid excessive load on the generating plant. But if you ask any average Johannes or Sisetu, they may just tell you that load shedding is a pain in the neck. It has dominated our radios for weeks. Welcome back. ESCOM has implemented stage one load shedding nationwide until 10 o'clock tonight. The power utility says consumers should check their load shedding schedules on the municipal or ESCOM websites. ESCOM spokesperson Kulupasiwe is on the line now. To Since February 2019, our social media streets have been flooded with memes, frustrations, arguments, and opinions about this contested topic we call load shedding. Some people have expressed their enjoyment of load shedding, while others angrily shared pictures of their raw mac and cheese dinner. I must have spent nights calling on anyone or anything that would listen to me and just take this load shedding away. ESCOM, can I give you a sneak peek of how these dark days have been for me? I am not ashamed to admit that I am a teensy bit of a sissy when it comes to the dark, especially during the chilling. My mornings start when it is still very dark outside, so when I secure my house, I make sure I do it quickly before any of the bad guys come. Sure, Eskom, I'll give you this. It was great when lectures were cut short because we rely on digital equipment to go forward with our lectures. But have you ever tried to submit an assignment on Turnitin an hour before the time and the Wi-Fi suddenly cuts off? As a general member, it is very difficult for me to work out with music. And as a gym staff member, it is quite disheartening when load shedding hits in the evenings and the gym has to close early due to safety measures. But this also means I don't get paid for the hours I would have worked. As a gym member, it is also quite awesome. difficult for me to work out without music. Yes, and as a gym yes. staff member, Stinky. it is yeah. quite disheartening when no shedding hits in the evenings and the There's gym has to close early due to safety measures. But, but no this also means too, I don't get paid for the hours I would it. have worked. On the roads, we have to be on extra safe off of because people tend to forget the how to drive in the cinema when my traffic lights stop were working. meant to have a movie date. So no electricity means converting to a gas stove. And this is all good and well, except when the gas stove decides to pack up on the day that you really, really need it. And you know what this means? Takeaways. And this really doesn't support my healthy lifestyle. Thanks for the romantic studying nights. <laughs> but my eyes are really beginning to take strain. So how has load shedding impacted your daily lifestyle? It has negatively affected my daily lifestyle where um, it has not been able to be productive whenever it does hit us. Um, in the sense where, in terms of saving my electronic data, I am unable to do so. Um, in terms of, for example, late in the evenings, I can't really work because it would be too dark or some of my, or some of my mach the, like, some of the machinery um, wouldn't be able to be used. Um, something as basic as warming up food for example even making food um, that also plays a role as well so for me load shedding has actually been an, an inconvenience and do you know of any alternative renewable energy resources that South Africa can use? Other than uh, solar panels, no. 
What do you think about Solomon? I don't really have the in-depth detail on how it works, but then from what I've seen, I do think it is a is an uh, is an alternative plan. Thank you. Oh, the government government should invest in solar panels. Um, it is expensive in the beginning, but cheaper in the long run as demand for the country increases um, because coal is a dwindling resource. Is that fine? If it has become evident that our coal deposits are depleting, if we have to have load shedding because we do not so have enough coal, so ESCOM and South Africa, then why are we not why investing is more in energy, research, not to do that we are looking at, in order to why? investigate why? what is so the cheaper energy? renewable options, or what are the renewable options that South Africa can use that will last us in the long run? Remi Mr. Remi is now opted for solar energy to be used in South Africa since we have an abundant amount of solar of solar radiation that comes in better than any country in the United States. The problem with solar panels is that yes they are expensive but in the long run a lot of money is saved and the higher the demand the cheaper it gets. China is a brilliant example of this, having an entire solar town, a town that is run purely by solar panels. By investing money in solar panels and also in research, what South Africa does end up doing is growing the quaternary sector. And by doing this as well, they create more jobs, not just for those that have the education or who are skilled, but also for those who are unskilled. This is definitely an option that South Africa should think about instead of blaming.